Kate van Koller and I've been an e-consultant for the last six years. Even though I finished my degree, I still chose multi-level marketing because of mostly I have to admit the income that's involved. Um, I think that's definitely number one if you look at the amount of money you can make and specifically because you still work for yourself but you're not alone in multi-level marketing and therefore uh, you've got a lot of freedom in time, in ideas, in marketing. So you can still run your own business and like I said, you didn't have to go and work for a boss immediately. I went to go work for myself immediately and but number one, the income. My Anique team is very successful in the sense that I've got 240 active consultants. They sell about 10 to 11 million rand of Anique products a year. I've got wonderful leaders in my business that, um, that have been developed um, in a succession plan that I inherited my business. So I inherited leaders and uh, team members that sell um, underneath me in the multi-level marketing structure. And um, as well, I've developed new leaders that also want to do multi-level marketing permanently and would like to earn the income that is available to them. I believe firstly that if a consultant really loves the products, they will forever and always continue to sell. So to me, if a consultant stops selling, you have to first look at what she's using personally. Um, is she still using the product? Is it her own that she doesn't feel like she can afford it, etc.? So to me, the most important thing to retain a consultant is for her to sell. The second most important thing is for them to come to training. I find that the, the consultants that come to training that commit to actually growing are the consultants that stay. Um, like in any other business, you have to learn. And therefore, if you don't develop yourself in the company, you will never be able to, you won't be a retain, you won't be a retainable consultant. That's, I don't think that's a word. My advice on recruitment and people that only want to do personal sales is that it's okay to only do personal sales. I've got people that do personal sales every month of 30,000 rand, and they're making a lot of income out of Anique without recruitment. But I do feel that the people that are insecure about it, they can be insecure for a year or a month or two. You don't necessarily have to push them because every sale in your team makes a difference. And the people that want to be great personal sellers, let them be great personal sellers. They're product amb ambassadors. They love our product. They're out there telling the world about how wonderful our product is. And what I find with those people that are more into personal sales than they are into group is that a lot of people will come to them and say, I would like to do what you're doing. So they don't necessarily go out and actively do recruitment rides, but because they love the product and they're talking unique so much that um, it sells itself in the recruitment um, opportunity because I see recruitment as one of our products. So we've got a range, but we've also got recruitment as one of our products. So if you're financially, you need additional income, it's a product. And that's what happens to me with the personal sellers. They also put it on the table as a product. <laughs>